What if AI could help you identify things in the real world with just a photo and a prompt? I'm gonna show you how to do it today on this episode of AI for Everyone. Let's go. Hey, this is Joel Kamm. Welcome to AI for Everyone, the show that makes AI useful, easy, and fun. As you can tell, today, I'm not in the studio. We're in the real world. In fact, I'm in Washington Park in Denver, Colorado, where I used to live. And I'm gonna show you how using ChatGPT or honestly, any AI tool in the camera on your phone, you're gonna be able to identify things, places, landmarks super fast. Let's get the camera out. Before we get started, would you please take a moment and hit the subscribe button, like, set the notification bell. That way you'll see all of my videos when they come out and won't miss a thing. Also, if you haven't taken advantage of the two free reports, I've got them for you right now. Just go to aishow.io forward slash free. They're yours for the taking. In Wash Park, there's this beautiful flower garden. I mean, take a look at some of the flowers and wildflowers we have here. I'm not a horticulturist, but I have no idea what kind of flowers these are. So we're gonna take a picture with ChatGPT. These flowers are cosmos, known for their daisy-like shape with broad petals in the yellow center and on and on, telling us everything we want to know about cosmos. Of course, we could also get tips on how to grow and care for them in our garden. We've just encountered pooches here in Washington Park. They're a huge part of the population. And uh, these gentlemen here with them, what we can do is take a photo of this beautiful dog right here. Hi, baby. And then say, what kind of dog is this? Is that a boy or a girl? Girl. And what do you think her name is? This will be fun. <laughs> Play a little game with it here. This beautiful pup is, of course, a German Shepherd, and we have all kinds of information about German Shepherd. As for her name, I can't know for sure, but she looks like she could totally pull off a strong, elegant name. Something like Luna, Sasha, or Athena would fit her regal look. What's her name? Lennon. Lennon. Here we are at the Wash Park Recreational Center. Let's find out what kind of activities we can participate in here. This is the Wash Park Rec Center in Denver at this facility. You can do fitness and exercise, aquatics, various sports. They got pickleball now. Community and leisure programs, outdoor connections. And if I want, they can give me a current schedule of programs and classes for this location so I know what's available right now. How much easier is this than going to Google or going to a web page? Found this interesting sculpture here in Wash Park as well. Let's find out what it's all about. So it's told us who the piece is by, and the artist, Tori, was a Colorado-born American sculptor known for lyrical, child-centered works. And it goes on to describe the work, but it doesn't know which park I'm in. So I'm gonna tell ChatGPT, I'm in Washington Park in Denver. So it turns out there's actually three characters in the sculpture, didn't happen to see the backside, the sculpture is based on the Eugene Field poem, Dutch Lullaby, which includes Winkin, Blinkin, and Nod. Hi, kids. Turns out this used to be a fountain with water installed on the western edge of Washington Park. It's been relocated and now sits near the Eugene Field House in Wash Park, commissioned in 1918 and renovated in 1993. If we want to know what damage or restorations it's had over time, AI is ready to tell us. Let's try this out. See those two apartment buildings back there? So I'm going to go into chat GPT and I'm going to select camera. And I'm going to zoom in on the building and take a photo. Now I'm going to ask it, can you identify this building? So at first, ChatGPT couldn't identify it, but then I said, it's in Denver, and look, looks like the Washington Park Boathouse on Smith Lake, which is right here. The twin glass towers in the background are Country Club Towers 2 and 3 in Cherry Creek, which is where I used to live when I lived here. Thanks for spending some time with me here in Wash Park. Now you can see how easy it is with ChatGPT or Grok or Claude to take a picture and ask a question about anything you see. 
If you've enjoyed this content, please do hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss a thing in the future. Thanks again for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the content. And remember, AI is for everyone, including you. Beep boop.